so here we are looking at some more of my build models. Um, bit of a place filler video to be honest, but uh, it does get everybody caught up on everything that I have previously built that you're not going to see in a time lapse build or a what's on my desk update. So we're going to be transitioning a little bit. Um, the desk, the shelf, I should say, excuse me. There's not very many World War II um, aircraft left. I have a couple of uh, German and Japanese aircraft, and I think one night fighter, US night fighter, plus a couple of heavy bombers, bigger heavy bombers. Um, other than that, we're transitioning into more of the modern era, kind of Cold War, Vietnam, airliner type stuff. So <clears throat> I figured this is a good time to start the transition. So I have three. Uh, coming up in the next little series that are going to be kind of Cold War RCAF aircraft. We'll start here with um, one of the more popular ones. Um, this is Hasegawa's 148 scale F-86, and it's done up as an RCAF Golden Hawk aircraft. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know about the Golden Hawks, weird. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know about the Golden Hawks, they were the RCAF's uh, first jet aerobatic team. Uh, they started in uh, the 19... Oh, man, I could dig through my history now. Uh, let's see. The centennials were 67. I believe it was in the early 60s. I'll put the dates up on the screen because I'm just going straight from memory here. Um, but they were formed in the early 1960s. They flew, I believe, four or five seasons. Uh, started off as a four ship and went on to a six ship. And they were painted up in this amazing golden color with the... Uh, the hawk down the side. Now, um, as I said, this is the Hasegawa kit and it uses the, their out of the box decals. Um, it's not perfect. Um, there are some issues with the decals. Uh, first of all, this, this is an older model. I built this many, many years ago. I, I couldn't even tell you the year I built this. Um, it, it's been a while. Um, so there's a few issues I have. A lot of the, the, the stuff in here, it's all been um, brush painted. Um, so that creates some issues with um, brush marks and all that other kind of stuff. And I was relatively early in my kind of model building career when I did this. So there's a lot of seam lines that didn't get quite uh, filled as well as I would today. Um, some some issues with marking marks and scratches and whatnot that I lived with at the time that today would be done a little bit differently, uh, softer detail. I just allowed things to go forward that I wouldn't have allowed today. All that aside, it still looks really good. Um, I'm a big fan of the Golden Hawks and having a model of it on my shelf is always a bonus. Interestingly, I haven't taken this off the shelf in many years, to be perfectly honest. Uh, really since I moved in this house, this has probably been other than the odd time I've moved around from one room to another or down here into the basement over the years as the kids have come along, um, slowly relegated to the deeper, darker dungeons of the house. Um, anyways, I've noticed there's there's some weird, like, there's some mar some weird artifacts in here, uh, here, 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 and this is gold paint, and I'm curious if that's actually corrosion in the paint, if they used copper um, pigment to give it a gold or like a golden look, you know what I mean? Make it look a little, maybe, you know, some brass in there to make it look more gold. Um, and it's starting to corrode. You're starting to get some green spots forming on the paint. And I le legitimately think that's corrosion with the metal flake in the paint. I never sealed this. I just painted it and went with it. So I, I believe I actually get corrosion forming in here. Anyways, getting off topic. Overall, it's a really good kit. Um, can't really beat Hasegawa. My only complaint are the decals. Um, they use the post-1967 decals, and I don't believe that's correct for the Golden Hawks. Um, I don't have very many references on... All my um, Golden Hawk references are in my office at work. But I do have this book, and I'm hoping Golden Hawks. 
Okay, so here we go. My answers are right here, so I don't have to put stuff on the screen. Golden Hawks flew from 59 to 62. Um, so yeah, my, my assertions were correct. The Golden Hawks would not have used a modern roundel. That modern roundel came out here in the New Leaf area, uh, starting in... Um, 1965, 1964. So yeah, 64, when they adopted the current maple leaf flag, they went to a roundel that matched the, the shape of the flag in the Canada flag, which means all the previous years, which I believe this one is an early one, uh, as it says Sabre on the tail and doesn't have the Golden Hawk logo. I believe this goes back to um, the 1959 or 1960 season. But I'm just, you know, I'm going here with a bit of a guess based off of... Uh, sorry, I'm not talking right now because I'm reading. The revision removed the saber nomenclature above the red ensign, which apparently was not done by the team until 1961. Okay, so where it says saber here above the red ensign, that means that this scheme is either a 1950 or a 1960, 1959 or 1960 year. So that dates that scheme. It's either 59 or 60. My guess would be 60 uh, because it also included the removal of the paint here from the tailpipe section. That was a 1960 revision. So it looks like this is a 1960 year paint scheme. Either way, uh, these roundels are incorrect for 1960 as they didn't roll out till 64, 65. So only real issue with it. Don't really blame Hasegawa. You really need to know your RCAF history to know that. I mean, I know the RCAF history and I still had to read it up in a book to be 100% sure on the dates and times. Uh, but yeah, anyways, minor issue for those who really want to nitpick. Otherwise, really cool kit went together really easy looks great on the shelf and uh, yeah that's my 148 scale Hasegawa F86 painted up as the RCAF Golden Ox thanks for watching thank you for watching guys and as always if you are interested in any of the content you see you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site. And if you're interested in any of this content, uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, YouTube to follow more. Thank you very much and see you guys next time.